everybody. It is Friday, June 19th. I'm home from work and the Island Chat, Weekly Island Chat, is uploading as we speak. And as I had said in the Island Chat, I got my whole scorn over. Now, yes, I am on a yarn band, but this was ordered for the Tunisian Shaw test that I was doing. Luckily, I got the, the yarn from the Indie Dyer or I would have been up a crick. There's no way I could have done that shot in a week. So we will see this is from Holskarn. They are in Denmark. And we get a pair of scissors here. And carefully open that. They, it's a nice package they send it in. It's, it's plastic, it's wrapped. And usually everything's wrapped in plastic inside. We'll see. Open this up without cutting anything. Okay. And just open. Okay. The invoice. And the prices aren't on here, but I approximately remember about what they were. And this, like I said, this is all supposed to be for the shawl. This is the yarn. Well, I'm going to turn the overhead light on. Excuse me. I will turn it on. You might be able to see better. This is the yarn. So, here we go. They're pretty good on their packing when they pack it. Like I said, I, they're a great company. I mean, Courtney from Firefox likes them. And I have some of her favorite yarn down there also after I show this. Okay. Now. This is. Well, okay, sorry about that. I went back and got the prices so I could give them to you. And I finished taking my... Now, this order I put in was for the shawl. But I also got a couple of the uh, lines that I hadn't tried yet. Coast was the only line I had tried. That's their wool cotton blend. But in this one here, I did Tides, Noble, and Titicaca, which I'll do that last. Um, so, we'll start with the Noble line, which is a 90% Geelong wool and 5% cashmere and it is it is soft I mean it's soft but it's not you know super soft and 364 yards and suggested needle size is three to three and a half and the gauge is 25 stitches per inch and as you can see this is A thin yarn. It is. It's, it, this is definitely, you know, lace weight yarn. This color is eggplant. And I got two of them. I don't know how true to color that's showing. It's called eggplant. It's like a deep, deep, deep purple. And that is the, uh, the Noble line. And the other color I got was I got Oh, uh, a willow, a pale oak. See if we can get this here. I got these colors to go together. Oops, sorry. No professional here. Then I got straw. This one's straw. And then I got Scott's pine. Let's see if I can get this up here. And you can see how the colors go together. All right, now that is a wool cashmere blend, which cashmere is considered a luxury, you know, fiber. And those were three fourteen a piece, so three of them cost me nine forty two. And then I got some of the tides. 
and I got these for this was for the project. Those those cashmere ones they were on sale, so I thought I'd just try them. What I got here, when you see the colors, you'll understand that I had gotten for the shawl that I was going to do. Okay, the first one is sea lavender. How good true that is. Now this is the tide, seventy percent wool, thirty percent silk. Okay, and it is chain spun. You can see the chain. And this is almost like a heather. I got three of these. There's 314 yards per 50 gram cake. Suggest three to three and a half size needle, 25 stitches per inch gauge. These are 50 gram balls. And I got three of them. The next color I got in the tides was orchid. Again, 70% wool. 30% silk, 314 yards, 50 grams, and that's, I got three of those. And then the other color I had got, and these were all to go, like I said, for the shawl, was iris. 70% wool, 30% silk, 314 yards. I got three of each because that's what I needed for the, for the Tunisian shawl. And then they had this one on, so I thought the titty caca was on special. I thought I could do a project with this since it was on special. This is called Frost. Again, 70% wool, 30% silk. So that's the Frost. So that's the, the yarn, I, that's the um, different lines of yarn. Now this one here is the 100% pure alpaca. I will be ordering more of this to have for future projects because I like to make a sweater. I'll double with, with the regular yarn there. And these are the colors. Okay. Oh, I forgot to tell you. These were on sale for three dollars and four I'm sorry, three dollars and fourteen cents the tides. The Geelong was three fourteen. Excuse me, three forty nine. These were three forty nine. The Geelong, and the Geelong and cashmere, and the wool and silk was three fourteen. These were all on special. Now, the test pattern that I was doing was calling for Surrey, which is baby alpaca. I paid probably thirty-five dollars for my little. I showed you the little ball of baby alpaca, very silky soft. This is a hundred percent pure thin alpaca, and let me tell you, it is soft. Now the series more silky, but this is. You can see the halo. This is just as soft as can be and it's spun, it's spun pretty tight. This is called Titty Kaka. Okay. And it is 100% pure thin alpaca. This color is Monet. There are 400 meters to 50 grams. So probably about 425 yards. I got two of those. And then I got two of these ones. This color is Lagoon. Same specs. I mean, tell me these colors don't look good together. So I have almost, you know, 850 yards in each, you know, two, two of them, enough to do a project. And I got one. This this was the Silver Sky. Okay, this was meant to go with I'm going to try to put this together so you can see it. Oh. And that was going to be the shawl. 
But I ended up going with the Indy Dyer. Excuse me, I'm out of frame. The Indy Dyer because, and it's a good thing because this just showed up today. And again, it was a treat buying the Indy Dyer. It was a one time purchase. It made the designer happy. And, you know, I, can't I, I tried something new that nobody else had tried. So, I'll just put this away here. Now, the other, I had a, just a couple of small, uh, what would you call them, accessory. I got this, and these were all bought local. I got this. It holds my socks when I'm working on them. This is like $5 Canadian. And I forgot to tell you, the shipping for my order was fourteen ten. Now this was all in US dollars. It was $101 US for everything. So I don't think that's too bad considering I got uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 cakes of yarn and then 5 of the alpaca. Not a bad price because for that price I paid for 3 skeins of the Indie Dyer yarn. You know, live and learn. The other thing, I just got this today. I'm trying to delve into color work, uh, but also working like on the Tunisian shawl, when you're working with two yarns and you're carrying up a side and that and trying to keep them separate, I thought this would be great. This was just bought in a local store here on the island. You know, put up, up to three colors, or if I'm doing socks, two at a time. But I thought that was a cute little accessory to have for the craft room. Now. I will show you the progress that I have. This is going to be a very long video. I will show you the progress I have on the shawl. This is, I am at 200, I think I'm at 263. Um, what am I on? 66. Uh, I am at 267 stitches and I will have 331 when I'm done increasing. But this is, let me get my, I don't want to lose my stitches off my hook here. This is, it's hard to see, I can't get back right, but that's what it looks like so far. This this, this is a V shawl. I can't, I'm going to lose my stitches off here. I don't have a, anything for my hook here. So this is what, I mean, it's got beautiful drape, you know, it's got beautiful drape, and it's just all Tunisian knit stitch and simple stitch, and a couple yarn overs for your increases, but that's what. So I should have that finished this weekend, then I will put it to block, and then comes the arduous task of making a hundred, I think it's, what is it, it's uh there's 80 rows. I think it's like 168 fringes to go all along the edge. But I've got to contact the designer because I need to know because she has, uh, you know, so much surrey, so much of the uh, merino. So I just want to, the majority of it is the surrey. I've got one more row left of the surrey and then I can cut that line. Um... And see how that is, but that's I'm fearing it's gonna take me a couple days, and then it's gonna take forever. It's gonna take a whole evening just to attach all that fringe. But I gotta block it first, then put the fringe on, and then steam, you know, lightly steam the um, the fringe to just to straighten it out and trim it up. So that'll be done. Um, the other thing that I have been is my Rose City rollers. I am on the gusset decreases. I've got a couple more decreases to do. Then it'll just be, you know, stocking it. And then the decrease for the toe, and then I can start the second one. I'm using these. These are four inch DPNs. They're bamboo. I got a whole set of 12 from Wish for $3. So, um, but no, it's, uh, and I'm working, like I said, Sunday when I do my video, I'll probably be able to show you the elf skirt together. It won't be blocked or anything yet, because then I have to pick up stitches 
you know, crochet stitches to put a waistband. Waistband's about six inches. And there is a border that you put on the skirt that helps with the rolling that is very common in Tunisian crochet. But I am excited. As I had talked about in the um, island chat, I kept myself on task this week, getting things done. And one of the other things that I had done was pull my graph paper out. And you asked, what for? Well, that's for designing. Because the one of the there's two patterns in in this brain of mine. Um, one is a pattern that will be that will have directions for knitting and crocheting, and it's like getting two patterns to price of one, and it will have a graph in the middle of it. It will be very simple because let's face it, folks, I am a beginner and it, I just like to keep it simple. And color work is new to me. So this shawl that I've done has actually taught me for the first time to carry yarn up the side. But that's only if you are changing colors at the beginning of a row. That's the difference with Tunisian. You go across and you come back to the return pass. So then of course I can, you know, last two stitches, you put the yarn together, yarn over, pull through, and it changes your color. You'll have the same two you have both yarns on your first stitch, but when you do your first stitch, it, it carries up the side. No no ends to weave in, because I hate weaving ends in. So, that was one of the other things, you know, that uh, I did this week, and kept myself on task. You know, I've been uh, trying to get things finished. I got three packages off last week. I made some more scrunchies for my granddaughter. So, I've basically been working. I had a goal. I would not go to bed until I finished that last panel. I started laying them out to see which, you know, what order I want to put them in, trying to match the, the, the colors somewhat. It's not going to match perfect, but that's not supposed to in that pattern. If you, anybody has gone and checked the link I've put in the description box, you will find that um, she did hers in two different yarns. One was the King Cole, called Autumn, which is very bright colors, and you, you, it, you'll have to, you know, if I can... Um, get a chance I'll I'll put the link back up in this video but maybe this Sunday I'll show you a picture with the autumn and then she gave the alternative yarn of um, I think it was impeccable or it might have been might have been charisma nope wouldn't have been charisma might have been impeccable that she gave and the color she used was similar to what I'm using the water lily I think hers was called meadow but they were similar color palettes very muted um, soft colors so but that's all I have I just you know I said I would do the unboxing and our bagging of the Holscon order um, I do have the big surprise Holscon order coming that but I'm not saying any more than that till I get the order um, I have the replacement part for my Tunisian crochet hooks because I've got to do a review on that um, Ryan, the yarn hag, I told her I would do a review on the Denise interchangeable Tunisian crochet hook set. So I'll be doing that probably Sunday. It'll be, you know, it'll be um, during my video there, so I don't, I don't bore you guys with too many uploads of videos. And I have my ball winder coming. I got the notification today. It should be here July 3rd. I'm so excited about that. I've waited two years. But I don't pay for, I mean, you guys have been with me long enough and seen the sales and the, the acquisitions that I have. I never pay full price. One time. That was the end of yarn. I have never paid full price for anything. Coupons and sales. And I wait. So, other than that, I will have some footage at the end of this. I just took a little bit of footage. Um, I went outside on the property there. And there uh, is some of the uh, wildflowers growing in our garden and stuff. Just like, you know, might like to get a little, little view of what... And once the new deck's done, I will be podcasting. My backdrop is going to be the Bay of Fundy. That's my backdrop. And it's it's been hot here. I don't mind it. Babs, hubby, hate it. They hate the heat. Even puppy. By the way, today is Bella's 12th birthday. Happy birthday, Bella. That's my puppy. 
So, have yourself a good evening, and I will be back with you on Sunday. And until then, hugs, smiles, and happiness to you. Pass it on. Make the world a better place. Bye-bye from Deer Island.